I have so many accounts. Look. Has both of Cards. My wallet. Cards. Ah. I'm so sorry, my eyes is kind of weird today. Do you see like the weirdness in my eye? Double eyelid, single eyelid. Yo, what's up friends? Welcome back to this video. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Nicole. And in this video, I want to share how I manage my money. Why? Just because. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I personally find it fun and interesting to talk about these things and also to listen to other people how they manage their money. So, tada! So I've made a similar video before, but it's kind of outdated because I've made some changes and upgrades. I realized I've grown out of the system that I made for myself about four years ago at this point. I have different goals and needs, bigger things I want to achieve, so I need to make sure that my money system is able to keep up with my big dreams. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do in this video is to give you guys a quick overview of how my entire finance system works. It has five components, that's architecture, cash flow, investments, net worth, and cherries. Now I'm also gonna show you guys the apps that I use. Fun. I'm not an expert at all, I'm still trying to learn these things, and the way I manage my money is just a Frankenstein mishmash of all of the things I learned from other people, which I adapted to my own system. And if there's one thing I want to emphasize really, when learning how to manage your finances, it's just important to find the system that works for you. This is what works for me, and I just hope that there's something here that's useful that you can take and adapt to your own system. But yeah, this video is also sponsored by Datalamp, but we'll talk more about them later. Enough talking, let's get started. Alright, let's talk about the components of my finance system. First off, architecture, the design. This part lives on Notion. So before doing anything, I always have an action plan. And before I redesign my system, I first took the time to sit down and really reflect and think about what do I actually need my finance system to do. I like to simplify things because my brain doesn't like big, hard, complex topics. Ayoko nun. And to help me better visualize how I manage my money, I created this imaginary money world thing in my head. So, ganito yun. I think of every single peso I own as an individual money person. And each money person has to have a job. There are three types of jobs. Spend, save, and invest. I imagine my money system as like a railroad network that helps the money people move around and do their job. <laughs> this is so funny. The starting point for all of my money people is income because that's the only way they'll enter my money system if I earn them. Income. They all get assigned jobs on whether they're gonna go to spend, save, or invest. For the spending job, there are two main categories. There's the living expenses, tapos yung free to spend fund. The money that gets assigned a spending job is meant to leave the system. They're meant to exit my system. They're meant to go bye-bye. Tapos for the save, this is just for money hoarding. I have two main categories here. Emergency fund, tapos opportunity fund. So the money people that go here just stay there. They're not meant to leave, they're not meant to be spent. But if ever something comes up, at least I have them ready to be deployed. Tapos for invest, the main role of the money that gets assigned this job is just to recruit more money people. So the money people are gonna work to make me more money. To recruit me more money. So my money makes me more money. <laughs> So in a way, this is budgeting. It's just creating a plan for how money will move through your system. It's important because to give every single peso that you own a role. They have a purpose. They have a function. So the way that money flows through my system is first, income, save, invest, then spend. I know for most people, the way that money flows through their system is first, income, spend, tapos ko ano matira, that's what will go to save and invest. But the reason why I structured my flow like this is because savings and investments are non-negotiables for me. No matter what happens, I need to always have money to save and invest. If ever indeed enough yung income ko, when it arrives to spending, then that just means I need to increase my income. I need to find a way to increase the income that flows through my system. Because the default route diba, is to find ways to tip in, to lower your expenses pa. And while that makes sense, for some people, hindi na nga ganun kalaki yung pumapasok na money in their system, tapos tipid ka ng tipid until the point na wala ka na matipid, but it's still not enough. Kaya, I think it's a better use of your time to find ways to increase your income instead of like really minimizing every single thing. What you need to do instead is to maximize learning new skills because that's one of the ways that you can increase your income. The world we live in right now is super fast-paced and the job market is really competitive. If you're a student like me or you're already a working professional, one of the most valuable skills that you can have is to be data fluent. Like knowing how to work with data. Which is why I'm happy that DataCamp is sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of them yet, DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes acquiring data skills a lot easier and more convenient. It doesn't matter if you're already a pro or you know nothing at all. Whether you want to learn Python, R, SQL, they have more than 350 data science courses that are designed by experts. Since we're already talking about finance, one of the skill tracks they have is on spreadsheets. 
So you can just enroll, start learning about formulas, pivot tables, where you start becoming some Excel wizard skill magic, which is super valuable regardless of what job you have. You can also learn things based on the career track you want to pursue. Like let's say, for example, I want to become a data analyst. So I can just click enroll and then I can start having all of the courses I need to prepare myself for that role. What's also nice is that you don't need to download additional software, programs, because everything's already part of the lesson plan. If this sounds cool to you, you can sign up to DataCamp through the link in my description. Then you'll get access to the first chapter of any course for free. You'll need to purchase a plan to access the full courses. But the good news is that they're also having a big sale on their annual plan. I think it's super solid. It's never really a bad idea to invest in yourself, especially when it's potentially going to open up new opportunities for you. I also have this account database. I really like experimenting and opening new accounts on different platforms, but sometimes it gets overwhelming to the point that I have a lot to keep track of. I have so so many different accounts, like my mom banks, e-wallets, credit cards, things like that. I have 19 different accounts, and I also have different investment accounts. I also have some referral links to these accounts if you want to sign up and get rewards. I'll put the links in the description. This account dashboard just really helps me keep track of everything. Then I have this section as a reminder for the statistics I want to keep track of. So the investment rate, savings rate, those are the numbers I want to know. And then these are some of the rough finance goals I want to achieve. Second component is the cash flow, and this just helps me keep track of how the money moves in, within, and also out of my system. So I've made videos before about how I track my expenses on Google Sheet, and they work really well. They were very basic spreadsheets, easy to use, but I got annoyed with how manual it was. And eventually, I decided to move platforms to something that's more automated, more seamless, and that will help me gain a better understanding of my spending behavior. So I moved to Wallet by Budget Bakers. This is not sponsored, but I got a lifetime premium plan, and you're supposed to be able to sync your bank accounts, but it's automatically tracked. But for some reason, mine doesn't work. BDO BPI. I'm not sure what the problem is, but. Unlike other money tracking apps, I say it works similarly to my original spreadsheet system. I don't need to adjust my brain that much. Now, because it also has smart labels, categories, templates, filters, reminders, lots of things to really customize it to how you want it to function. I can talk more about this in a future video, but so far I've been using it for a while and I like it. I think I'm gonna stick to it. Then third and fourth, we're moving to Google Sheets. This is my net worth tracker. Then the investment dashboard. For my net worth tracker, I got it from my friend Thea. So I got a part of her system, so my spreadsheet, and I adapted it to mine. So for net worth, how you track that is just how much you own versus how much you owe. So in fancy words, it's assets minus liabilities. Yeah. So I just have like month on month how my net worth is increasing or decreasing. And then for my investment tracker, I eventually want to create another investment dashboard, a spreadsheet. But for now, it's similar to my old system. I just have individual spreadsheets for different investment categories. So those are the main parts of how I manage my money. But the last component is what I call the cherries. But I'm cherry on top. They're just the extras that help my finance system work and also keep me accountable. So the first cherry is in Google Calendar. Honestly, there's a lot of things that go on in life, and you're bound to forget a lot of things. Kaya for me, I put all of my credit card statements, my bills, my tax deadlines, scheduled investments. They're all on my calendar, and I just have like a notification like today is the tax deadline for this. Today you have to pay the bills on this. You don't want to miss a bill and then need to pay extra fees for that. Nope. No, no, no. Google Calendar is your friend. Then the second cherry are the automations and scheduled payments. When it comes to most things in life, no, the way to make progress, talaga, is to be consistent. With money, it's really easy to make emotional decisions or not stick to your original plan. Like you can say, like when my money arrives, I'm gonna save five thousand pesos. I'm gonna invest in this. But when it comes time na dumating talaga, eh, you might forget it, or worse, you might have spent it on Shopee now or on Lazada. For me, what I like to do is to set up myself for success. I set up commitment devices ahead of time, para automatically mangyare yung plan ko, even if I forget it. For example, I cost average a lot of my investments. So what happens in my system is that I direct all of my income to go to certain bank accounts, and then I schedule a deposit for my bank to the investment platforms every month. Then, if it's available, I create an auto investment plan in the platforms to schedule to buy certain stocks or like crypto that I want. No, no, no. And then at the end of each month, I just open my account and then log it in my investment tracker sheet because it was already executed automatically. Like you don't have to remember now. Oh, every fifteenth, I have to transfer this to this account. That was I have to buy this. No, I like to make it happen automatically. Para mas free yung utak ko to think about other things. Yeah, that's what I like to do. These are my cherries. 
So yeah, this is how I've upgraded my system to help me achieve the things I want for myself. You saw in one of the sheets, one of my goals is to retire at 30. So that gives me about eight years to work towards that. I don't know if that will happen, but hopefully my system can bring me towards that. This video is mostly just like an overview of my system or how it works. But if you want me to go deeper, discuss no, each component pa in future videos, let me know because honestly, I find this so fun. For my regular viewers, I just want to say I'm so sorry for disappearing and being inconsistent. A lot of things has happened in the past few months. Kakatapos lang din ng semester ko sa school. And my mind is still a mess. <laughs> this year, a lot of things are going to happen for me. Lots of new milestones. Stay tuned na lang. Exciting stuff. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. With all my hand gestures, my watch thinks I'm working out. See, I'm going to move goal. Ko. 550 calories. <laughs> Amazing. Woohoo!